is James. Wanted to go over your golf swing lesson on the 30th. So just um, kind of go over what I've got here. So I've got some, got a dot on where your left shoulder is, and on your centre of your sternum as well, and just a line going, basically boxing in your head, and continue all the way down to the bottom, just uh, in front of the ball. So, so we know that a couple of things that we changed here is we made sure that we turned your right foot out more and we brought your feet a little closer together and how that influenced what you could do with your hips so as I uh, I'm just going to show you this I'm going to put some put some dots just where your hip is and close to the outside of your knees because you know they tend to almost go back a little bit so okay so we can see it's set up that we slightly altered the amount of tilt that we have so instead of your hips being behind your sternum we pushed them forwards a few degrees and felt like you closed your shoulders just slightly so you've got a little bit more tilt now at the shoulders instead they were looking a little bit too far to the left so we just cleaned up those pieces okay so we know that during the course of the backswing this left shoulder has to go down and inwards evenly during the whole course of the backswing. That's how we turn our shoulders 90 degrees to our spine. So what was happening is that we're going to see the left shoulder actually just went down so we can see it started to go down. Keep taking it back. So it went down, down, down and it never had enough of the inward component. Okay, so we started to see that this swing would look really, really short. And you couldn't turn very much. And it started to limit the amount of power that you had. So you can see how the left shoulder hasn't gone in far enough. And again, you can see that the hips haven't turned quite enough. And if anything, they've actually swayed backwards. Okay, so what we started to do is get you to feel like that left shoulder went inward more. And you kept turning your right hip up and behind you. So your right hip had to go this way and back behind you all the way to the top. So we'll see slightly different look here in the difference of your left shoulder. If you keep turning, you keep going, you can see now how the right hip is much more behind you all the way to the top. Okay, so by doing this you are able to propel the left arm further during the entire course of the backswing. So the left arm can get further and higher, being able to start hitting this golf ball further. And again you can see how your hips have turned more and they haven't swayed as much. Now ideally it'd be there'd be another inch forward, so I'd like them still to be one one inch further forwards as we get to the top but we start to see how it changed the sequencing as well for down the line so we'll have a look what was going on from this view again we slightly can see the slight changes we did for you again you're a little bit more bent over so you'd have a bit more freedom You draw a couple of lines here, you'll see why in a moment. So we've got a little bit more bend at, at the waist, so you're a little bit more bent over. So this is looking at, like this ideally to be about 45, so it's pretty good. You can see how here is a little bit more upright. So you've got your little bit more bent over. And so what happened is because the hip stayed too stagnant and didn't go up and behind you, it limited how much both you could turn and the depth that the hands could go. So you start to see how they start to lift and go a little bit too high. So as we get, got you to start turning the hips backward and behind you, how the hands could stay tracing on the circle of the inclined plane. So really nice there. Okay, so now because your hips have made a bigger turn, 
now you have more time and space to slide them forwards in the downswing as opposed to they just started to turn around and behind you okay, and we'll see how that changes the influence of this golf club coming out and across as opposed to as you start moving the weight forwards that club can now approach much more from the inside so really nice job there and, uh, and keep it up and I hope this all makes sense. Thank you.